Hi you guys, it's Alyssa. I am here today with another reading. Today's topic is going to be, should I make a move towards my person or should I wait for them to make a move towards me? I think I did a video like this a few months ago, um, but I had a comment recently asking me to do this sort of topic again, so I was like, you know, this is one of those things that it's you know, it's kind of good to revisit every once in a while. So that's what we're doing. We've got four groups to choose from today. One, two, three, and four. For group one, we have this lovely purple crayon. It is called Wisteria. For group two, we have Sea Green lovely. For group number three, we've got Carnation Pink. And for group four, we have Yellow Orange. Hello. Lovely. Okay, so um, think about the person that you want to know about. Should you make a move towards them or should you wait? Uh, and I will give you a few minutes to pick your group and then we will get started, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just start with group number one. I was going to say something, but then I forgot what I was going to say. So I'm just, I guess we're just going to start. <laughs> All right, group one. Oh my God. There went my crayon. Okay, group one, the purple crayon. It's not going to stand up, so I'm just going to toss it there. Okay, group one, your card is work through your fears. So, um, right away, this makes me think that those of you who chose this option might be putting off making a move towards your person because you're nervous or you're afraid of how they will respond. Um, you might be afraid of rejection. You might be just afraid that they won't give you any response. Um, so uh, you're not doing anything and, okay, that's too many cards. Um, and, and so what I'm getting is that, all right, there's the nine of pentacles. With this card, it's like right away, I'm kind of getting this feeling like you should make a move towards them because it's it's work through your fears. If you're afraid that they'll reject you or that they won't even respond to you or whatever, or it'll start a conflict, like that's something that you have to work through, okay? You just kind of have to like suck it up <laughs> and just do it. Um, We've got the Nine of Pentacles here, which this card talks about like having confidence, it talks about independence, it talks about somebody who has it together, who isn't afraid to go after what they want. We've got the Queen of Cups, which is a card that speaks of unconditional love. This card, and we have the Ace of Cups, okay. So, I mean, I feel like right away you guys probably should should make a move if you want to. Because um, I, yeah, and we've got the Knight of Wands. These are some really active cards here, you guys. So, I don't know what y'all are waiting for. And that's still too many cards. I'd appreciate it if I could get one card at a time. How about that? Okay. They said, fuck you. <laughs> All right, let me talk about these cards first. Um, so Nine of Pentacles, like I said, it's about confidence. It's about, you know, going after what you want, to me. Um, Queen of Cups, unconditional love. Ace of Cups, new beginnings, especially in terms of love and relationships. And the Knight of Wands is a very active card. It's about movement. It's like, go, 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 gonna, gonna, gonna go for this thing that I want to have. So I'm feeling like if you want to make a move towards your person, or if you want something to happen between you and this person, I feel like you should make a move. 
And it's not that they wouldn't make a move towards you if you waited, but what I'm getting is kind of like, why wait? You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person would be pretty receptive to you coming towards them. And so I'm not really getting that there's a reason for you to wait for them to do something first. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, you could wait, but like, why would you? <laughs> um, when you could just get this ball rolling, like right now. Um, and I, I can already hear some of you guys being like, yeah, but, you know, they're probably not going to be receptive or they're probably not going to do anything. They're probably going to ignore me. And it's like, well, how do you know that? <laughs> you know, um, you don't know that for sure unless you actually go for it. Um, with the Page of Swords here, this card is about communication. So this is basically just like, if you want this person... Or whatever you want to have with this person whatever your goal is with this person it's like you just have to say something just do something it doesn't have to be big doesn't have to be some kind of like grand gesture it's just something just do something let them know how you feel what the what what you want drop some little hints and see what happens get a feel if you want to for you know how how they think or how they're feeling about you if if you're not sure but I mean all these cards are pretty pretty straightforward to me it's like just do it just say something just go for it just like work through that fear that uncertainty that you have and do something you know um for, for most of you, I feel like this is a kind of a new person that you maybe don't know super well, or it's somebody that, yeah, <laughs> there's the eight of wands. This is about action. This is about just doing it. Just do it, you know? Um, anyway, this is about like, oh, what was I saying? Oh, I think for, for a lot of you, this is someone that you either don't know super well or you kind of know them but you've never been in a relationship with this person or you've only known them for a short period of time like a few months um and they might have given you some mixed signals and so maybe that's why you're unsure of what you know what's going on in their mind um the three of swords is popping out so the Three of Swords can talk about um, betrayal, heartbreak, sadness, third party situations, possibly. Um, I'm getting that this is, some of you, for some of you, you might be thinking that your person is involved with somebody else or they're involved with something that would prevent them from like giving you as much attention or time as you'd like to have or they would like to give you. Um, but I feel like if you made a move towards them, they would do whatever they could to give you as much time and as much of their attention as, you know, as they possibly could. And also if you're thinking, yeah, if you're thinking that they're involved with somebody else or that they are more interested in someone else than they are in, like, in, in you, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the case. I, I feel like your, your worry, your anxiety about that is kind of unfounded. Um, you know, people can project whatever they want to, to the world. Um, but the things that we project are not always the truth. You know, um, we all have such deep, rich inner lives, and we're all very complex, you know? Every every single person is like an ocean, right, of, of complexity and whatever. So just because somebody is, you know, on the surface, 
not seeming to be interested in you or seeming to be more interested in somebody else, that doesn't really mean that's the case necessarily. Um, the only way you're going to really know is if you just, if, if you say something to them, right? So you just kind of have to get into your Empress energy and just kind of go for it, you know, build up your confidence, build up your strength, uh, and, and just kind of you know, look in the mirror and tell yourself, like, I'm, I'm a bad bitch, I can do this. And gender is irrelevant, it doesn't matter. The Empress, you can be anybody and be an Empress. Um, <laughs> but, like, basically, this is an, an overwhelming go for it. So, if you want to... If you want to make a move towards this person, do it. There's, I don't think there's really any point in waiting for them. Um, although, like I said, you could. But the message I'm getting here is like, why wait? You know, you don't need to. Um, you could get this. You could get this thing going like tomorrow if you want. Um, so, group one, <laughs> uh, that's your message. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. I don't think your person is going to bite you or flip out on you if you, you know, go towards them. I think they're going to be pretty receptive. They might take a little bit to open up and, you know, really, like, let you in. But, I mean, I think that's kind of what they want. I think, I think they, they... Your person could be somebody who takes a while to open up, to let down their their uh, barriers. And so if you make a move towards them, that's going to tell them that like you are really into them and you care about them. And that's going to make them more receptive to, you know, kind of letting down those walls and uh, opening up to you more. Does that make sense? It's like they want to know that you care about them. That's what I'm getting for a lot of you. They want to know that you care about them. Because they're not really sure either. Uh, so, group one, that is your reading. I hope that resonates with you, and I hope it gave you some insight. Um, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on this reading. Um, what did I, what else did I want to say? I don't know. Uh, check out the links in my description box. I've got a link. Thank you so much for watching. Um, that was kind of a weird, like, rant that I just did. But anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> I hope I see you next time, group number one. And we're going to go to group two now, which was the sea green crayon. And your card is... The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So, some of you guys could be a Gemini, or the person you're dealing with could be a Gemini, or have Gemini placements in their chart. Um, let's see, what deck do I want to use for this one? Um, okay, no, I, I want to use I want to use this one. This one is saying use me. Okay, so. Um, the answers you need are coming. Group two, should you make a move towards your person or wait for them? Um, the, f the very first thing that I'm getting is that the person you're thinking about is going to move towards you. We have the Fool, we have the Empress, and we have the Wheel, and we have the World, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I think your person is going to move towards you. We have the Queen of Wands. All right. Let me talk about these cards. So the first card that we have here is the Fool. So the Fool talks about new beginnings. I feel like you're asking about a person that you have some history with. Maybe an ex, maybe not an ex. Maybe they never had an opportunity to become an ex. Um, but I'm seeing a new beginning on the horizon for you and this person. Okay. Um, we also have the wheel, which is about movement. It indicates movement. It indicates cycles. Um, also the world is kind of a similar energy. It talks about, uh, movement as well. This card can indicate travel, 
Um, it also can indicate completion because it is the final card in the major arcana. So there is this energy of movement. There is something happening. There are things happening that I think that you... There's things happening within this connection that I don't think you're aware of. I don't think you can see it. It's happening sort of behind the scenes. I feel like you and your person, like I said, have had some history. And I feel like there, have, there has been some issues, some conflict, some... Uh, you and this person might be in separation right now. Because the Five of Cups is about like sadness, loss, grief, that kind of thing. Um... And what I'm getting is that I think both of you have needed some time, or you do need some time, to recover from whatever has gone on or to process your emotions towards the other person and, as, and like, about, like, what has happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh... There's been some waiting here. There's been some distance. This card can also talk about travel and the, therefore distance. Um, it also is like, you know, you're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for a signal. You're waiting for, uh, you know, some... You're waiting for the right moment to put a plan into place. I think that's kind of where your person is at right now. It's like they want to have some sort of new beginning with you with the ace of wands being here it's like i feel like your person is excited about you they're excited about you in theory at least um i think this person might spend a lot of time daydreaming about you and like the relationship that they have with you in their mind in their heart in their spirit is really something that they cherish and I think that they want to bring that into the physical world. They want to have you physically present in their life as well, but they're nervous, they're anxious about it because they see you as the empress, they see you as the queen of wands. Again, gender is irrelevant. Don't uh, get caught up on that. But like, they see you as someone who's powerful and attractive and intelligent and confident, who knows what they want, who maybe deserves better than what they think they could give you. Your person could have some self-esteem issues, uh, probably stemming from past relationships. I just spit on that card. I'm disgusting, but we already knew that. Um, so, yeah. So they're, uh, they're wanting to come towards you, but right now I think they're still a little bit hesitant uh, with the Two of Swords being here. This is like indecision this is like being stuck being locked in a stalemate you have a choice to make but you you just can't decide you can't you can't decide which way to go it's like their their choices are you know they can completely walk away from this and forget about it which i feel like they've tried to do but it hasn't worked out for them um or they can come towards you and try to make this into something more try to make this work which I think is what they want to do, but they're they're waiting. They're waiting. They're not ready yet. They're waiting. And so I think that once they are ready, once they have enough confidence that they... I think once they feel confident enough that they have, you know, processed their feelings about this and they have figured out what they want to do and how they're going to do it, exactly i think they're going to put this plan into action and try to initiate this new beginning right this new star for the two of you um and they're working on it like i said they're working on it behind the scenes you just can't see that i think from your perspective it might look like they are doing nothing <laughs> it might look like they are um being stupid and or lazy or you know fooling around with stuff or people that they shouldn't be but the reality i think is that they spend a lot of time thinking about you and they spend a lot of time thinking about what they're going to do pertaining to you 
How are they going to approach you? When are they going to approach you? What are they going to say? How are they going to say it? All of that. Can they say it? You know, I think they're slowly building up that confidence. It's just, they're just not quite there yet. They're not quite there yet. They're not quite ready to make that move, but I think they will. The, the answers you need are coming, right? Um, the full moon also talks about completion. So it's kind of like this period, this uh, cycle that you're in with this person where, you know, you're not really in touch. You're there. Things are sh kind of strained between you. I think that's going to come to an end, right? We've got three cards here talking about cycles ending. Um, so I feel like your person is going to make a move towards you. It's just a matter of time. And I think for a lot of you, that time is going to vary. So I'm... I'm, I'm really not getting a time frame for when that will happen. Uh, but I think for a lot of you, it could be a couple of months, maybe three, maybe two to four months, possibly. Just because we have a lot of wands here. Well, we have three wands here, but, you know... Uh, Wands cards are very active, right? So, they already have this, they already know that they want to do this, they're just waiting for the right time. They're waiting to be completely ready. Okay, so, group two, I think your person is going to come towards you, and I think that you should probably wait for them, because I think... If you try to initiate contact with them before they are ready, it might um, make them pull back even further. It might kind of delay the... Um, I think it might delay their readiness. It's kind of like... They have boundaries, right? That they want to enforce. Um... They're not ready to be close to you yet. They're not re ready to talk to you about whatever needs to be discussed. And so if you try to initiate contact with them, they're going to enforce their boundaries. Like, I don't think they would talk. I don't think they would really do much. I don't think they would give you much in response. Um, just because, you know, they're not prepared and, and that's that's okay, right? They have, they have a right to... Um, they, they have a right to enforce those boundaries, you know. So, group two, that's your reading. I hope that resonates with you, and I hope that it gives you some insight. Um, if you enjoyed, leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I have links in my description box to all of my uh, things, <laughs> like my Etsy store where you can buy a private reading from me, my Patreon, which has some exclusive stuff. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. All right, group three, the pink crayon. What is your card? Let's see. We have look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. Okay. So, what this tells me right away is that some of you guys who picked this option are really getting caught up in the details of this particular situation with this person. And that could mean different things for each of you. We will find out more about what that is talking about. We have the chariot. Will group three's person make a move or should they? Should they make a move or should, okay. It's a lot of cards. Should group three make a move or should they wait? I get the sense that you guys are really wanting to make a move. You're really wanting to get this thing like moving forward you want to get this ball rolling and you're kind of impatient because like that's what the chariot is giving me yeah you want this to change you want some changes to happen with death because this card is about transformation it's about changes you want 
this current like cycle that you and this person are in to end and you want it to become something better you want to get into this like four of wands energy i feel like for a lot of you guys this is someone that maybe you've been dealing with for some time maybe things have been kind of off and on for a while um i think for a lot of you things have been off <laughs> for a while now um but you you're very like passionate about this person and you really you really want to be with this person right and that's okay but i feel like you guys are a little bit overly ambitious or you're a little bit too uh determined to make this happen uh i think you're very invested in this connection and the problem is that your person that you're thinking about it's not that they aren't also invested it's just that they're not mm, I feel like they're not invested to the same degree or they're not able to invest to the same degree that you are. Does that make sense? We have the Knight of Coins. So the Knight of Coins is a pretty slow moving energy, right? And we've got the Two of Wands. I get this sense like this could be for some of you a soulmate or twin flamey kind of thing with the four of wands being here it doesn't have to be though I just get this feeling like you want to be in union with this person like you want to be with this person you want things to be good between you um, you want to have all of that but this person has moved has been moving so slowly like they are the knight of coins while you are the chariot they are just sort of plodding along taking their sweet time while you are like tearing down the street you know to your uh destination um and so there's that disconnect right between your energy and theirs um I get the sense that for a lot of you, well, for some of you, your person doesn't fully, they're not fully aware of what you want. Maybe you haven't fully communicated to them what you want or how you feel about them. Um, why is the two of wands here? Oh, okay. You, I mean, you've chosen this person. You have decided that, like, this is your person. This is the person that you're going to be with. This is the person that you want. You have chosen your person and you have walked away from any other options that might have existed. Um, and so, you've chosen your person and now you are doing everything that you can to make something happen. You're doing a lot of work. Okay, you're investing a lot of time and energy into making something happen, but I feel like you haven't been seeing a lot of progress in this. Okay, um, I'm I'm seeing you guys just kind of like doggy paddling in the water, just like remaining in place. You, you know, you're paddling so hard, you're paddling really, really hard. You're like, yes, I'm gonna get to that shore over there, but. What you don't realize is that you're not moving. You're just you're just like treading water. You're staying in the same spot. And that's kind of like what you're doing with this connection as far as this connection goes. I feel like you and your person don't have a ton of contact um or at least not like meaningful interactions. You know, you're not really having like deep conversations right um and that's kind of frustrating to you and it's also partly why your person has no clue your person is a little bit oblivious um that you're trying to make all this stuff happen uh, it's like Yeah, your person's kind of just sitting, you know, doing their uh, emperor thing, you know, living their life, um, doing their thing, doing whatever they do, working their job, doing, like, walking their dogs, whatever. Um, 
And I feel like they just, they have like almost no idea that while they're doing their thing, you are somewhere else, like, doing this, trying to get to this. <laughs> Some of you are doing a lot of, like, energy work pertaining to your person. Some of you are, like, trying to send them healing vibes. Some of you are trying to, like, open their chakras, like, remotely. And, I mean, there's only so much that that kind of thing can accomplish, right? Um, it gets to a point where it's not it's it's not going to do anything anymore. If you If you do it over and over again, it's like... Okay, you've you've uh, you've done as much for this person as you can, and it it gets to a point where you just kind of have to step back and like take a chill pill and look look at the bigger picture here. Okay, you know what I'm saying, guys. I hope this doesn't come off as like me like preaching at you or anything. But this is the energy that I'm getting, and I feel like a lot of you are just so, you're just so ready. You're just so ready to make something happen with this person. Because your energy is really, is really strong. It's really f quick. It's like, whew, yeah, I'm ready to go. You're like, uh, can't sit still. Like, I'm, my, I can't sit still right now I'm doing this reading. Um, but it's like... You have all this energy, but where is it going? You know, it's it's not being utilized productively, I feel like. Um, Page of Wands. Yeah, you're, um... You're really trying to be on the move. You're really trying to make, make this connection, like, move forward. But I feel like it's, um, I feel like for most of you, your person is not at a place where they're ready for that to happen or they want that to happen yet. And so because, you know, it's because they're not ready, then it's not going to happen. You know, even if you're trying to manifest something, you can't manifest, you know, a person to do something that they're not willing to do. You know? And so... I feel like what you guys need to do, group three, is just kind of take a step back and take a deep breath and understand that... there are better ways that you could be utilizing your time and energy. And it's like... If you're manifesting, if you are trying to send this person healing energy, if you're trying to do whatever, you know, you don't have to do that, like, all the time. Uh, especially if you're manifesting, you know, you can, you can do that, like, one or two times, and then let that go. Let that wish go to the universe, and spirit will remember it, okay? Spirit will remember it. Um... You don't have to constantly remind it of what you want, because when you do that, it gets annoyed, and it says, you know what, if you don't know how to be patient, we're going to teach you how to be patient. That happens sometimes, and it's not fun. <laughs> um, so, uh, you guys, what I'm getting is that you you guys just need to kind of wait. You guys just need to kind of chill out. And <laughs> and I know some people hate being told to chill out. I'm sorry. Uh, but, but I, you know, I don't feel like there's much that can be done right now in regards to this connection. And again, I, I don't want this to sound rude or harsh or anything. I don't want it to sound like I'm lecturing you because I'm not. This is just the message that I'm being given. Um... It's like, some of you guys are really stubborn. Some of you guys are really hard-headed. And it's like, um, you know, uh, how many times do we have to tell you this? <laughs> uh, some of you, Spirit has been trying to tell you this. 
you know, all before now, and but you either haven't noticed or you haven't listened. Um, and you know, that's, if, if you're not um, super in tune to that kind of stuff, it can be easy to miss messages, right? So, I mean, it's understandable that you might miss some of these things. But as far as should you make a move or should you wait, I think you need to wait and I think you need to like lay off on the moves <laughs> for now. Because um, I'm just getting this feeling like you're trying to make moves all the time. You're trying to make moves constantly, especially like energetically and in the 5D, you're, I, I feel like a lot of you are constantly trying to interact with your person in the 5D. Um, you are always like, you know, trying to, trying to connect and trying to maintain that connection, but you don't really, I feel like you're, you're just, you're just putting way more into it than you need to. I feel like you're, you're, um, you know, if this is a soulmate or twin flame thing, like you don't, you don't have to do a whole lot to maintain that connection because it, like that person is part of you. That's not just going to go away. It's always going to be there no matter what. Even if you, even if you like make the conscious effort not to think about it it's still gonna be there you know um so i think you guys need to just kind of uh take a little rest okay take a little rest and i think when your person is ready they will come towards you but until that time nothing you do is gonna change what's happening you know what i'm saying you can't force you can't force this. You can't rush this. This is a process. This is a process. And I think the more you try to f push it, the more you try to rush it, the more you're going to delay it for yourself. Does that make sense, you guys? I'm sorry. I know some of you guys probably didn't want to hear this. <laughs> um, and I apologize. But... Hey, that's the message I got. And if this doesn't resonate with you, then don't try to make it fit where it doesn't fit, you know? Take what applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. These are just general readings, right? Um, so don't take it too, too seriously, right? Uh, so anyway, that's really all the messages that I have for you, Group 3. Um, again, I'm sorry that, that that probably sounded a little bit... Uh, preachy. I didn't mean for it to, but anyway, don't be mad at me, please. Um, thank you for watching anyway, and uh, I hope that this gave you some insight. If you leave uh, mean or nasty comments in my comment section, I will block you and I will also screenshot your comment and send it to my friends so that we can have a laugh. Um, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching group three. I hope I see you next time. We are going to move on now to group number four, which was the yellow orange crayon. And before I look at your card, I need to take a drink because my voice is getting fucked up. Y'all, I had a comment on one of my videos the other day from this person. It was a video from a couple of months ago. I don't even remember what it was about, um, but I had a drink in the video and Again, because I had been doing readings like all day and my voice was fucked up. So I needed some liquid. Um, and this person like was acting like I was like the most disgusting person alive for making her listen to me drink my juice. Which I took maybe four sips of throughout the entire video. <laughs> and it was just really, really wild. Anyway, um, yeah, so that kind of made my day. Um, your card group four is nothing will come of this situation. So that's interesting. Um, 
Okay, let's see what other cards want to come out for you guys. Should group four make a move or should they wait? Should group four make a move or should they wait? We have the eight of cups. So the eight of cups, okay. The eight of cups is about moving on from something. Um, should I take these? Um, okay. I'll see if they come back out. If they come back out, then I will. Should group four make a move or should they wait? We've got temperance. All right. <clears throat> And we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so I think that, um, all right, the message I'm getting here is that this is not the right time for something. This is like very inopportune time for this connection for some reason. It, because it's like, okay, we've got nothing will come of this. We've got Eight of Cups moving on, walking away. We've got Two of Swords, inability to make a decision, being stuck. We've got Temperance, which can speak of patience. So it's kind of like, I guess... As far as, like, you and this person, it's kind of like this is not a good time for this to move forward or to go somewhere. It's like, hmm, see what other cards want to come out. It's too many. Okay, that's even more. Um, all right, let me look at these. Okay, so the Hierophant and the Chariot did pop up earlier, so I will take them because they're coming out again. Um, the Hierophant, the Chariot, we have Judgment and the Magician. So we've got a lot of majors here in this spread, which makes me think that there's something kind of special about this connection. There's something really um, powerful here. I think that it's very likely that you and this person are soulmates, you have some sort of soul connection, possibly twin flames, whatever, uh, however you like to identify that thing that you have, right, with your person. Um, and it's like, this is something that is divinely guided, right, just like all soul connections are to some extent. Um, I feel like this is something that you really are wanting to move forward with. This is something that you are wanting to have uh, like a new start with this person. You're wanting this thing to be reborn, to be re uh, restored, renewed. You, you want to manifest, right? Um, a, a life with this person or just a stronger connection with this person or just this person's physical presence in your life um, I think a lot of you probably want to be with this person forever like long term okay and that's fine that's beautiful that's lovely but these cards up here are making me think that something about this is just It's, it's just not the time. It's not the time. And that could be for a number of reasons. That could mean a number of things. It's like you and this person are not ready yet to be together, like, permanently. Yeah, this is, this feels very high-level soulmate. Um, the Two of Pentacles, for me, a lot of times... This has become kind of a twin flame card for me because it's like mirroring its balance. It's like it usually has like the infinity sign on this card, um, which is like a connection that is that will endure, you know, that will exist always. Um, so it's like 
I don't think this is uh, the right time for you and your person to be in union with each other permanently. Um, I'm getting this feeling like there's still things that you guys have to do first on your own before you can enter into that stage of your journey that you, you know, go down together. Does that make sense? When you're a twin or a high level soulmate, um, yeah, typically, I mean, I mean, these kinds of journeys are not really ultimately, it's not about being with your person. It's not about union. It's about helping you become a better version of yourself. It's about helping you raise your consciousness and become a wiser, better person. And union with your with your counterpart is just like a pleasant side effect that you eventually get to. But that in itself is not really the point. That's not the purpose. And so I don't feel like you've I don't feel like the two of you have made enough progress on your own yet to get to that point where you can come together and start the next leg of your journey, right? So what I'm getting is that you need to just sort of, my cloth is messed up and it's bothering me. Um, I feel like you, you need to kind of step back from this connection. I think you need to step back from it. For some of you, your person, I feel like, is already kind of trying to pull away, um, which kind of scares you. But you got to remember that this is something special. This is something really unique. And it's, no matter how far away you are from each other, this connection will always exist. They're always going to be part of you. They're always going to be with you in some way. And... That's something to be cherished and appreciated, right? Because the, this this physical existence is just one of many layers of who we are and what this life is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's going on in the physical world is not all that there is, right? It's, um... There's so much more to it. There's so much more to our lives and our existence than just this. And <clears throat> I think you need to... What these cards are telling me is basically like you've got to... I feel like you... What I'm hearing is like go your own way. You've got to go your own way and let them go their own way. And trust that there will be a reunion when you're both ready for it to happen, when it's, when you're both going to be in a place where it's going to be able to last. Because if you try to force this thing to happen now, like, you haven't learned enough, you haven't grown enough, you haven't done whatever you need to do, and it's just going to keep going, like, back and forth. It's just going to keep being in and out. It's not going to be a, a solid, stable thing. <laughs> which ultimately is, is going to hurt you, right? <coughs> oh my god, sorry. My voice is getting super fucked up, y'all. Um, I've been talking too much. Um, so, yeah, it, it's kind of like you've got to detach from your expectations about this. You have to detach from your desired outcome pertaining to this person because what you want to happen is not going to happen like straight up it's not going to happen the way that you want it to it's not going to happen when you want it to and so you have you have to just like accept that and let go of that and walk away from it and and do your own thing it's it's like just do your own thing so should you make a move i don't think so should you wait um it depends on how you define waiting. Uh, to me, it's like, I don't think that you should wait on this person to do something. I think you need to keep moving forward with your life and doing the things that you feel led to do and doing the things that you are, you know, doing, going wherever you feel led to go. 
Um, and if that takes you far away from your person, like, you just have to embrace that. Like, just trust that, like, this is happening for a reason. Because it is, you know? And with the Six of Swords being here as the final card, it's like, this is reconciliation. This is going to happen someday. It's just a matter of when, okay? And so what I'm getting is that, like, this is your long-term potential outcome. I mean, this is, this is the outcome. I, I feel like this is going to happen no matter what. Uh, it's just the when and the how is variable. But um, you just have to, you just have to trust that you'll get there someday. And in the meantime, it's like you have to just, I, I, I feel like you didn't need to let go of this, this, um, this thing, this, this uh, desire that you have to be with this person physically, like in the, in the physical world, um, to have them be present in your life in that way. And I know that sounds like a scary thing, like letting go of my person, like letting, you know, I don't want to, I love this person and I feel really connected to them. And it's like, you don't have to let go of them. You have to let go of your desired outcome, you have to let go of your expectations, right? Because as long as you're holding on to that stuff, it's going to hold you back. You're always going to be, you know, trying to keep one foot with this, with this person. Like, and, and, and that's just going to hold you back from doing the things that you need to do, that you want to do um, in your life. I hope this doesn't sound like preachy or anything. God, I said this to group three too because their message was pretty intense as well. Um, I'm not like trying to lecture you guys, but this is the message that I'm getting and I hope it doesn't sound, you know, rude or condescending or anything because that's not my intention. Yeah, that's really, that's really all I've got and, and I hope this resonates with you. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt because this is meant to apply to, you know, hundreds and thousands of people. Um, so take what applies to your situation and leave the rest. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope I see you next time, guys. Check out my, uh, check out the links in my description box. I've got a link to my Etsy store, a link to my Patreon, a link to uh, PayPal and stuff. Uh, so look into that stuff if you're interested and leave me a comment if you enjoyed my video. Uh, I hope I see you next time, guys.